good evening and welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Let's have a moment of quiet as we gather our thoughts from this day. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit and Jesus, you the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, you my King, O Jesus, you do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Lord, the Most High, your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, Thy door to me, O oh, shut not tight, O oh, God of life this night. Tonight we are looking at Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. The time had come for the Israelites to conquer the expansive land that they'd been promised. But it must have been daunting for them to face such an amazing challenge. They understood, however, that their future was safely in God's hands and that he would never let them down. Has your rest been disturbed by thoughts of tomorrow? Are you daunted? by the situation you will face. Take courage tonight that God leads you. As he did with the Israelites, he prepares the way for your triumph. He is able to protect you and will never fail. Rest easy that tomorrow is completely in his hands. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 17. You won't have to lift a hand in this battle, just stand firm and watch God's saving work for you take shape. Don't be afraid, don't waver. March out boldly tomorrow. God is with you. And a prayer as we move into a time of quiet. Dear God, I praise you for leading the way. Thank you for calming my fears and preparing the way of victory for me. Amen.
Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless you all for joining me this evening. Please do take care of yourselves and all of those around you. We pray as always for a world in turmoil and a Ukraine at war, as well as all those other places who are involved in the terror of war. Good night and God bless you.